sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right. Now we're back with a part uh, three. So here we are. I have one of my two relay boards installed. Receptacle, power supply. I got my labels on all my uh, receptacles here for the different channels. I have my neutrals and grounds hooked up. I got all my uh, hots coming out of my receptacles right there, which they're going to be plugged into the 16 relays. I went ahead and labeled these with a marker to help me out so I don't get confused. Then I just went ahead and put a uh, label on them so I know that this last one is the ground. Then obviously we have the 5 volts in and ground here, which we are going to feed from this harness here that I made, little wire setup that I made, coming out, coming off the 5 volt power supply, which this is going to power the relays and the uh, Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, this hot here is coming from the receptacle, which is I'm going to use uh, relay 8 to supply the main power for the uh, relays because this will get jumped into this, then back out of this, into this, and so on. And as you can see, this is just sitting here, but this is how you jump them. Then this wire here will be one of the channels for that terminal there, 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 and so on. So, let me do this a little bit better. This will be coming from the uh, receptacle. Then, like I said, I'm going to bring my hot in to number 8 here. doesn't matter really where you bring your hot in, but since I have it right here, I'm just going to bring it right in here and tie it in with the jumper. Then run a jumper from 7 to 6 and 6 to 5 and so on down to 1. And do the same thing with the second relay board. Let me grab my, put a little protection there. So if you're looking at it, that's what the relay board looks like. And I went ahead and labeled this other one 9 through 16. So I know which is which. Then obviously one through eight, then the ground, then ground, ground. This ground here and this one, I'm just going to tie them together, probably. On my other one, I have this coming off, I think, the pie, but I don't think it really matters. So I'm just going to pin these out and find channel one through eight, put them in here. Then, uh, Obviously I have my jumpers installed, so once I get that done with this first one, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Then uh, I went ahead and made up another little harness here that will get plugged into, screwed down to the power supply. And this will go into uh, this little guy here, which is nice. I think these are Phoenix connectors or whatnot, I can't remember. But uh, they're nice that they come apart. Then on the other end is a USB-C that will be plugged into the Pi. So the nice thing I like about these is if you ever want to unplug your Pi, you don't need to keep unplugging it directly from the Pi. You can unplug it from there. So anyway, I'll be back once I get that far. All right, now we're back. I got my uh, Pi 4 mounted. This is the uh, 2 gig version. We don't need a 4 and 8 for this. I have my uh, SD card in there with the uh, Raspbian on it. And I just label my SD cards so I don't get confused. Plus they're a little easier to pull out when in a situation install like this. I have my uh, Jumpers here screwed down to my relays. 
I got everything wired up. Add a little voltmeter here to see. I have my power coming out of my power supply for the Pi. Using one of these nice little uh, connectors here. So when we wire this up, it's not too hard. I have a good video on this that I'll throw the link in the description to my uh, website for it with some pictures and information. But I have this that I did up myself and it's really nice because the now this ain't in color obviously and when it's in color it's even better but uh, the light show pie uses the wiring pie number so that's the biggest thing in the that we need to know so since I'm using 16 channels the numbers here under the wiring pie rows are the pins that we can use for the light show pie for the channels so uh, like for example I can start with uh, channel one for one then you know channel two for two three for three and just keep moving up and kind of keep them in best order I can then if we hold this this way that matches up with the top row and the bottom row of our uh, pie. So top row, bottom row. So <clears throat> we can plug and play pretty easy basically. Then in the uh, config file, we'll just list the uh, wiring pie numbers. We don't go by the pin numbers or the GPIO numbers. Because as you can see, they don't match. So, uh, if you put in these PIN numbers in the config, it won't work. Or the GPIOs. You need to use the wiring PI numbers. So, this helps out, helps me out a lot. Hopefully it helps you guys out a lot. And uh, that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, everything's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um... <clears throat> So anyway, I'll uh, throw them links in the description, and uh, thanks for watching. If you got any issues or problems or concerns or whatever, comment below, and I'll answer them the best I can, when I can. All right, thanks for watching.